Hey everyone, welcome back to Kitchen Table Talk. Now don't forget to stick around until the end to find out about one of your hero actors you may have never known was right where many of these students are today. In this episode, we're going to talk about how much American policies have changed as a direct result of the massive student walkout protest earlier this year. Let's dive right in. In this episode, we're going to talk about how much American policies have changed as a direct result of the massive student walkout protest earlier this year. The protest was a direct response to the massive student walkout protest in 1969. That protest was significant because it forced American policy to change. It actually resulted in the creation of new policy. The term student power emerged during this time and it gained traction as a new way to describe the political influence of young people. This movement led to congressional hearings where students testified about what was happening in their schools and how their education was impacted by the Vietnam War. As a result, Congress passed a resolution against the war, which was a direct outcome of the protest and the changing policy due to student activism. So it's clear that these protests had a real impact on shaping American policy. How much do you think policies will change this time around after all the protesting over the Israeli-Gaza war? Congress is busy dealing with all the Trump-Biden issues. I don't think they will be focusing on the impact the students' protest has had or will have on U.S. policies right now. What are some consequences the student protesters are facing after all the protests earlier this year? As of now, all we know is that the protesters have been dismissed from their universities and their student union positions have been suspended indefinitely. This means they're no longer eligible for scholarships and other university benefits. Consequently, they may be forced to pay full tuition for their studies, which can be quite costly. However, it's important to note that these students are united in their decision and are willing to face these consequences together. While it remains unclear how long their suspension will last, one thing is certain, these students will not give up their principles and values. How will the actions of these students today affect their future tomorrow? Picture this, a group of students on the first day of school with their backpacks slung over their shoulders and notebooks in hand, ready to face a new chapter in their lives. The future is wide open, filled with infinite possibilities, waiting for them to write their stories. Now, what if I told you that the decisions they make today could be the ones that will shape their entire lives? Imagine the difference a single choice could make it might be as simple as saying yes or no to joining a club or participating in an event. That small step could lead to bigger leaps as they grow and evolve. As we know, life is full of twists and turns and who knows what paths these students will take. But one thing is certain, their choices today could be the catalyst for their success or failure tomorrow. So let's remind ourselves to cherish every moment and make every decision count. Thinking this way could either make you or break you. Let's take a look at one person 
who made it big for themselves after living through a situation like this. Samuel L. Jackson wasn't just a talented actor, but also a dedicated protester. That's right. He took a stand against segregation in Atlanta when he attended Morehouse College as a freshman. This was during the 1967 school year. Samuel L. Jackson was one of the first African-American students to attend Morehouse College. However, he and nine other students were forced to attend Atlanta University instead due to segregation. This incident sparked Samuel's participation in protests against segregation in education throughout the entire year. It's incredible to think about the impact that this historical event had on Samuel L. Jackson's life and career. We can only imagine how this experience shaped him into the actor and activist we know today. So, what's the big question on this whole students protesting over the Israeli-Gaza war dilemma, you ask? Let's find out. The term Gaza war has become a bit of a misnomer. While it may sound like an ongoing conflict, it actually refers to a specific incident that occurred in 2014. This event was triggered by rockets fired from Gaza into Israel which ultimately led to a full-scale military operation by Israel. Now let's talk about the students who are protesting this dilemma. They are advocating for human rights and peace in Gaza, expressing their concerns about Palestinian civilians caught in the crossfire of this conflict. These students are passionate about raising awareness and drawing attention to this pressing issue. So, who will issue penalties? The universities, the courts, or Congress? Well, we will know soon enough. Until then, let's continue to discuss this issue. This is Lolo for Kitchen Table Talk. Stay tuned for more on this story. Until then, have a great day and a better tomorrow. <laughs>